What's up, Machinima people? My name is Oyster, and today I'm bringing you guys a team deathmatch on Downpour, playing some uh, good old-fashioned COD4. But before I start this gameplay, I really want to give a big shout out to Rock. Uh, I really appreciate him doing this whole series idea, so I can bring you guys some entertainment on Machinima. And uh, I just want to give a big thanks to him, and hopefully you guys will like me just as much as uh, he did. But anyway, like I said, I am playing some COD4, a really classic game. I really like this game. Um, my classes game, I'm rocking the MP5 with Red Dot. I got M9 for more ammo. I got uh, Bandoiler, Stopping Power, and Steady Aim. If you guys didn't know, the M9 and the MP5 share the same ammo. Uh, so, you have more ammo if you rock them both at the same time. With uh, out Bandoiler, when you have M9 and MP5, you have 90 instead of 60. With Bandoiler, you have 270 instead of 180. So, uh, you know, it's a really big advantage. It's really nice, and uh, definitely enjoy that extra ammo. Uh, but anyway, I'm just pushing up the left flank here. Downpour is a pretty linear map, so I want to give him a spawn trap. Because uh, from there, I can just go keep going back to the spawn trap to uh, build on my kill streaks if I need to. And uh, I can just find a good spot to uh, get on my kill streaks pretty high and get a lot of kills. So basically what I did in this game is I just went up the uh, left flank. Good way to rush up on. It's got a lot of cover. A lot of people go that way. Uh, so I'll catch most of the other team. And it works out pretty good for me. I go on like a 10 kill streak in the first two minutes of the game. So, you know, it worked out pretty well. But after killing up these few guys, I pretty much reached the checkpoint of which I want to go to. Right here, I've got them in the spawn trap. I really don't want to move up any further because if I do, their spawns might flip, which really won't be very good for me. And uh, this side's definitely a lot easier to keep than the other. Uh, this crate right here is definitely magical or something. It's just really nice to pick people off and you can hide back if you need it. Unfortunately, it doesn't work out too well for me as I do get flashbang and aided. Um, but uh, sometimes you can, you can get like a 20 kill streak right there and uh, it can be a really good uh, crate. Uh, to uh, stand behind. But anyway, next left, I've got my chopper gunner saved up from the last one, which I always do, because uh, if you guys might know, if you save your uh, chopper gunner for the next life, it'll help you build up your kill streaks again. So many kills it gets will help uh, build up your kill streak. I'm sure you most of you know that, but uh, I always do that. I always like doing that. Uh, it just works out really well, and you can, even if you don't really need it, uh, it'll help you build up your kill streaks faster and stuff. But anyway, the spawns do switch, which kind of sucks. Our team uh, just pushed up too far or something, and just judging on the red dots on the mini-map and how my uh, team is positioned, I can easily tell that, so I do flip around. But unfortunately, uh, they switched to the bad part of the map as far as spawn trapping go. Uh, there's really not as many great spots, like that crate's really good to peek people off, and there's a couple other positions like that. Uh, and the other side, you can really see clear to their spawn. This side's not as great, um, but, uh, you know, you have to work with what you got. So I do push up the side I'm going now because the other side's kind of suicidal with the machine gun and stuff. Uh, but the side I'm going up now works pretty well generally and not as many people suspect it. Uh, so it works out pretty well and if you can just push up to that house, like the garden house or whatever, it's got a lot of broken windows and uh, the plants inside. Uh, it works really good. You can get a lot of cover in there and they won't spawn behind you. And so that's kind of my goal right now. I really want to get in that house, push up to there, and uh, from there I can build on my kill streak really nice. So basically I'm just kind of waiting for my team to push up. I want to keep these guys in a spawn trap if I can because once my team gets here it will be easier. Unfortunately though I am playing with randoms so they're not going to be likely to uh, keep them in the spawn trap. They'll probably push up uh, switching the spawns which I believe they actually do. So that kind of sucks but I uh, push up pretty quickly right here. And uh, basically right here I've kind of reached my checkpoint on this side. I've reached this house. This house is nice. Uh, you can just kind of peek through these windows and uh, it gives you a advantage as far as the gunfights go and uh, you know it's just a really good spot if you need to duck down you can duck down in the stone walls they can't I don't believe I can shoot through them or if you need to you can fall back real quick because they don't spawn behind you so you know that works out pretty well but my team does push up pretty quickly and uh, we just kind of push into their spawn real quick and uh, the enemy team I believe starts spawning in the center which does kind of suck I guess I'd rather them spawn on the other side but uh, you know uh, at least they're closer and I can get more kills. I get the one guy coming uh, for a payback kill. He gets me my helicopter and I try to pick up this guy, but uh, one of my teammates kills him. So basically I'm just going to try to push up and um, I wasn't uh, really expecting them to spawn in the center. So, uh, you know, I'm, I'm expecting them to be spawning back, so I kind of push back that way. And uh, I go up the uh, side that I went up in the beginning. Because like I said, that side's really nice and uh, a lot of people go that way, so you can uh, definitely find people. So I just kind of move my way over to this side, again I go through the hole, and I'm just going to push up the left flank again. Um, but what I wasn't expecting, as I, I didn't realize this before, 
um, was that they were spawning in the center, and I was uh, still expecting them to uh, spawn back, so I wasn't really prepared for nobody to be here, uh, which kind of threw me off at first, and uh, kind of worried me also, because generally, generally, my bad, when you don't know where the other team is spawning, uh, is when they come up behind you and stuff. Um, but I pretty much do find them. I see that they're spawning in this house, and um, I just kind of rush into it and try to pick up everybody I can. Uh, right here, I do call my helicopter. There's really no need for saving it for the next life because even if I do uh, die, I'm not really sure I can build up a kill streak uh, for my next life. So uh, there's really not many, much point in keeping it, and uh, you know I might as well let it get as many kills as I can. Uh, but anyway, before this commentary ends, guys, I really want to talk uh, just real quickly about my channel. Uh, if you guys would like to come check out my channel, I'd really appreciate it. If you guys liked anything about this video, possibly my commentary, I thought it was informational, or maybe the gameplay, uh, don't hesitate to come check out my channel, see what I have to offer, uh, check out some of my, my videos and stuff, and uh, hopefully subscribe. Just a little about my channel though, I try to have a lot of variety, uh, more than just Modern Warfare 2, which a lot of commentators only do. I try to have other Call of Duty titles and Battlefield and Zombie and stuff. A uh, little else about my channel, I have some of the best quality on YouTube. Uh, you can't really tell since it's machinima, but uh, come check out my channel and you'll uh, see. Also, try to stay pretty active in my channel as far as replying to comments and messages and stuff. So if you have any questions, send me a message. But that's game, guys. 35, 2, and 2. I hope you guys like this. Uh, just remember that you ain't Grizz, baby, and here's a cup exploding. I'll see you all later.